हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू वीडियो ऑफ सुनंदा ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द चैप्टर टेन व्हिच इज बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस इट इज द चैप्टर टेन ऑफ योर ट्वेल्थ क्लास एन बायोलॉजी बुक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एट फर्स्ट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एज यू वुड हैव लॉन्ट from the previous chapter essentially deals with industrial scale production of biopharmaceuticals and biologicals using genetically modified micro fungi plant and animal the application of biotechnology include therapeutics diagnostics genetically modified crops for agriculture processed food bioremediation waste treatment and energy production Three critical research areas of biotechnology are providing the best catalyst in the form of improved organism, usually a microbe or pure enzyme, creating optimal conditions through engineering for a catalyst to act, downstream processing technology to purify the protein. So, providing best catalyst in the form of improved organism, generally generally using biotechnology, we Uh, modify the organism's gene gene of an organism so by that by doing that uh, we provide a best catalyst usually a microbe or pure enzyme which catalyze a process then creating optimal conditions through engineering for a catalyst to act op- in optimal condition those microbes or their enzyme will act best the final result of a process or biotechnological process is a product and uh, but we can't directly consume that product or directly use that product after downstream processing that product will purify and then we can consume it let us now learn how human beings have used biotechnology to improve the quality of human life especially in the field of food production and health so biotechnological application in agriculture let us took a look take a look at the three options that can be thought for increasing food production one is agrochemical based agriculture second one is organic agriculture third one is genetically engineered crop based agriculture so these are the three options we can use to increase the food production one is agrochemical based agriculture organic agriculture that means uh, where we can't use the chemical fertilizers then genetically engineered crop based agriculture green evolution green revolution succeeded in tripling the food supply but yet it was not enough to feed the growing human population increased yields have partly been due to the use of improved crop varieties but mainly due to the use of better management practices and use of agrochemicals like fertilizers and pesticides however for farmers in the developing worlds agrochemicals are often too expensive and further increases in yield with the existing varieties are not possible using conventional breeding as traditional breeding techniques fail to keep pace with demand and to provide sufficient fast and efficient system for crop improvement another technology called tissue culture got developed what does tissue culture means it was launched by scientists during 1950s that whole plant could be regenerated from a explant what is explant then explant that is any part of the plant taken out and grown in a test tube under a sterile condition that means micro free condition and providing that explant a suitable medium for growing this capacity to generate the whole plant from any cell or explant or any plant part called totipotency of the plant cell generally the plant cells are totipotent you will learn how to accomplish this in higher classes it is important to stress here that nutrient medium must provide a carbon source such as sucrose also some inorganic salts 
vitamins amino acids growth regulators like auxins and cytokinin see auxin and cytokinin is very very important because it uh, it is suitable and uh, it helps in the growth of root and shoot of newly developed plants by application of these methods it is possible to achieve propagation of a large number of plants in a very short durations this method of producing thousands of plant through tissue culture is called micro propagation so tissue culture is the technique but the micro propagation is the method of producing thousands of plant by following this tissue culture method each of these plant will be genetically identical to original plant from which they were grown that is they are sem- uh, soma clones many important food plants like tomato banana apple etc have been produced on commercial scale using this method try to visit a tissue culture lab with your teacher to better understand and appreciate the process another important application of this method is recovery of healthy plant from diseased plant even if the plant is infected with a virus the meristem that means the apical part of the plant is free of virus hence one can remove that meristem and grow it in in vitro in lab to obtain a virus free plant then scientists have have been isolated single cell from plant and uh, after digesting their cell wall using cellulose have been able to isolate naked protoplast that protoplast means the uh, uh, plant cell devoid of cell wall isolated protoplast from two different variety of plant each having desirable characteristics can be fused to get a hybrid fro- protoplast which can be further grown to form a new plant this hybrid is called the somatic hybrid while the process called somatic hybridization suppose this is a cell and this is another cell cell a and cell b in that the process actually these are not cell these are protoplast that means cells devoid of the cell wall the cell wall removed and the protoplast extracted then these two protoplast fused with each other to form a new cell with our desired characteristic this process is called somatic hybridization and this is called somatic hybrid next is there any alternative path that our understanding that our understanding of genetics can show that for farmers may obtain maximum yield from their fields is there any way to minimize the use of fertilizer or chemicals because uh, it may be beneficial for the plants or crops but it can be harmful for the soil it can it can cause the soil pollution so use of genetically modified crop is a possible solution plant bacteria fungi animal whose genes have been altered by manipulation are called genetically modified organisms the genetic uh, genetic modification plants modified plants have been useful in many ways genetic modifications have has made crop more tolerant to abiotic stress reduced reliance on chemical pesticides help to reduce post harvest losses increased efficiency of mineral uses by plants enhanced nutritional value for example golden rice that is vitamin a enriched rice is a genetically modified crop in addition to this use genetically modified modified organism has been used to create tailor made plant to supply alternative sources to industries in the form of starches fuel pharmaceutical some of the applications of biotechnology in agriculture that uh, you will study in details at the production of paste resistant plant which could decrease the amount of pesticides used bt toxin is produced by the bacterium bacillus thuringiensis bt toxin gene has been cloned from bacteria and in expressed in the plant to provide resistance to gene that means that gene extracted from that bacteria and inserted in the plant to get the insect resistant plant so now after creating that insect resistant plant 
we do not need any insecticides so what are the examples of uh, this uh, bitti crops bitti cotton bitti corn rice tomato potato and soybean first of all what is bitti cotton some strains of bacillus thuringiensis produce proteins that kill certain insects such as lepidopterans tobacco tobacco bodworm armyworm coleopterans beetles and diapterans like flies and mosquitoes bacillus thuringiensis forms protein crystal during a particular phase of their growth this crystal contains a toxic insecticidal protein that can kill the insect so why does uh, this toxin not kill the bacillus itself because it is present inside their body and it is a toxin actually the bitti toxin protein existed as inactive pro toxin so whenever it is a pro pro insulin pro toxin all are in their inactivate form but once the insect ingest that inactive inactive toxin it is converted into active form of toxin due to alkaline ph of the gut which solubilizes the crystals the activated toxin bind to the surface of mid gut epithelial cell and create pores that cause the cell swelling and lysis eventually cause the death of that insect then specific bitti toxins were isolated from bacillus thuringiensis and incorporated into several crop plants such as cotton the choice of genes depends upon the crop and targeted pest as most bitti toxins are insect group specific the toxin is coded by the gene called cry iac named cry gen cry genes a group of gene called cry gene this bitti toxin is coded by a group of gene called cry there are a number of them for example protein encoded by cry iac and cry 2ab control the cotton bulworm and cry 1ab control the corn bear borer corn borer this is the picture where uh, the cotton ball is destroyed by bulworm a fully mature cotton ball which is destroyed by the bulworm then pest resistant plant several nematodes parasitize a wide variety of plant animal including human beings a nematode meloid gyne ignoita infects the root of tobacco plant and causes a great reduction in the yield a novel strategy was adapted to prevent this infestation which was based on the process rna interference RNA interference or RNAi takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense. This is a method involves silencing of a specific mRNA due to a complementary double-stranded RNA molecule that binds to and prevents the translation of that mRNA. And this is the silencing. The source of the complementary RNA could be from a infection by virus having RNA genome or mobile genetic element or transposome that replicate via a RNA intermediate. Using Agrobacterium uh, tumefaciens vector, uh, nematode specific genes were introduced to host plant. The introduction of DNA was such uh, such that it produced both sense and antisense RNA in which host uh, in which in the host cell. these two rnas being complementary to each other formed a double stranded dna that initiated rna silencing or rna interference and silenced a specific mrna of that nematode the consequence that uh, the parasite could not survive in a transgenic host expressing specific interfering rna then biotechnological application in medicine at first the genetically engineered insulin management of adult uh, onset diabetes is possibly by taking insulin at regular time interval what would a diabetic patient do if enough human insulin was not available if you discuss this you would soon realize that one would have to isolate and use insulin from other animal would the insulin isolated from other animals be just effective as that secreted by human body itself and would it not elicit an immune response in the human body now imagine if bacterium were available that could make human insulin 
suddenly the whole process becomes so simple you can easily grow large quantity of bacteria and make insulin as you need think about whether insulin can be orally administered to diabetic people or not and why insulin used by diabetes used for diabetes was earlier extracted from pancreas of slaughtered cattle and pigs insulin from the animal source though caused some patients to de- patients to develop allergy or other types of reaction to foreign protein insulin consists of two short polypeptide chains one is chain a and b that are linked together by disulfide bridges in mammals including humans insulin is synthesized as pro hormone like pro enzyme the pro hormone also needs to be processed before it become fully mature and functional which contains an extra stretch called c peptide this c peptide is not present in mature insulin and removed during the maturation process the main challenge for production of insulin using our dna technique was getting insulin assembled into matured form in 1983 ellie lilly an american company prepared two dna sequence corresponding to a and b chain of human insulin and introduced them in a plasmid of e coli to produce il- insulin chain chain a and b were produced separately extracted combined by creating disulfide bonds to form human insulin so in this way by using that bio, the biotechnology we have created the insulin human insulin then what is gene therapy gene therapy is a collection of methods that allows correction of gene defect that has been diagnosed in a child or embryo here genes are inserted in person cell and tissue to treat a disease <coughs> correction of a di- genetic defect involves delivery of a normal gene into individual of embryo to take over the function and compensate for non functional genes the first clinical gene therapy was given in 1990 to a 4 year old girl with adenosine deaminase ada deficiency this enzyme is crucial for immune system to function the disorder is caused due to deletion of the gene for adenosine deaminase in some children ada deficiency can be cured by bone marrow transplantation and in other it can be treated by enzyme replacement therapy in which the functional uh, adenosine deaminase is given to the patient by injection but the problem with both of these approaches that they are not completely curative as a first step towards gene therapy lymphocytes from blood of the parent patient are grown in culture outside the body functional ad or ad c dna is then introduced into those lymphocytes which are subsequently returned to the patient however this as these cells are not immortal the patient requires periodic infusion of genetically engineered lymphocytes however if the gene isolated from bone marrow cell producing ada is introduced to cells at early embryonic stage it could be a permanent cure then what is molecular diagnosis you know that effective treatment for a disease early diagnosis and understanding its pathophysiology is very very important using conventional or traditional methods of diagnosis using serum and urine analysis early detection is not possible recombinant dna technology polymerase chain reaction enzyme linked immunosorbent assay are some of the technique that solve the purpose of early diagnosis presence of pathogen pathogen means the microbe that can cause a disease is normally suspected only when pathogen has produced a disease symptom by this time the concentration of pathogen is already very high in the blood however very low concentration of bacteria and virus can be detected by amplification of their nucleic acid by pcr can you explain how pcr can detect very low amount of dna pcr is now routinely used to detect the hiv in suspected aids patient it is being used to detect mutation in genes in suspected cancer patients too it is powerful technique to identify many other dis- genetic disorders single stranded dna or rna tagged with radioactive molecule or probe is allowed to hybridize to its complementary dna in a clone of cells 
followed by detection using autoradiography the clone having the mutated gene will hence not appear on photographic film because the probe will not have a, have any complementary with mutated gene elisa is based on the principle of antigen antibody interaction infection by pathogen can be detected by presence of antigens or by detecting the antibodies synthesized against the pathogen then what is transgenic animal animals that had dna manipulated to possess and express an extra gene known as transgenic animal transgenic rat rabbit pig etc have already been produced although over 95% of existing transgenic animals are mice so uh, why are those animals being produced and how can man benefit from those modifications let us try and explore some more common reason one is normal physiology and development so transgenic animal can be specifically designed to allow the study of genes that are regulated and how they affect the normal function of the body and its development for example the study of complex factors involved in growth such as insulin like growth factor then study of any diseases like um, cancer cystic fibros- uh, fibrosis then rheumatoid arthritis alzheimers then biological products medicines required to treat certain human diseases can contain biological product but such products are often expensive in market transgenic animals that produce useful biological product can be created by introduction of a portion of dna which codes for a particular product such as human protein used to treat emphysema which is alpha 1 antitrypsin similar attempts are being uh, made to treatment the phenylketonuria and cystic fibrosis in 1997 the first transgenic cow rosy produced human protein enriched milk the milk contained human alpha lactalbumin and was nutritionally a more balanced pro- product for human babies than natural cow milk then another one is vaccine safety transgenic mice are being developed for the use in testing the safety of vaccines before they are used on human transgenic mice are being used to test the safety of polio vaccine if successful and found to be reliable they could be replaced the use of monkeys to test the safety of batches of vaccine then chemical safety testing this is known as toxicity or safety testing the procedure is same as the used for testing toxicity of drugs transgenic animals are made that carry gene which make them more sensitive to toxic substance than non transgenic animals they are then exposed to toxic substance and uh, uh, the effects studied toxicity testing in animals will allow us to obtain results in a less time then ethical issues the manipulation of living organism by human race cannot go on any further without regulation some ethical standards are required to evaluate the morality of all human activities that might help or harm living organism going beyond the morality of such issues biological significance of such thing is also important genetic modification of organisms can have unpredictable results when such organisms are introduced into the ecosystem therefore indian government has set up organization such as gesc that is genetic engineering approval committee which will make decision regarding the validity of gm or genetically modified research and safety of introducing any genetically modified organism for the public service then modification and usage of living organism for public service has also created mo- problem with patent granted for the same there is growing population anger that certain companies are being granted patents for products and technology that make use of the genetic material plant and other biological resources that have long been identified developed and used by farmers and indigenous indigenous people of a specific region or country then rice is an important food grain and uh, the presence of which goes back to thousands of year of scs agricultural hi- history there is an estimated that 2 lakh variety of rice is present in india alone the diversity of rice in india is one of the richest in the world 
basmati rice basmati rice is the distinct for the its unique aroma and flavor and 27 documented variety of basmati are grown in india there is reference to basmati in ancient text folklore and poetry as it has been grown for centuries in 1997 american company got the patent rights on basmati rice though uh, through the us patent and the trademark office this allowed the company to sell a new variety of basmati rice in us and abroad this new variety of basmati had actually been derived from uh, derived from indian farmers variety indian basmati was crossed with semi dwarf variety and claimed as an invention uh, or a nobility the patent extends to functional equivalence implying that other people selling basmati rice could be restricted by the patent several attempts have also been made to patent uses products and processes based on indian traditional herbal medicine for example turmeric and neem if we are not uh, vigilant and we do not immediate counter this patent applications other countries and or individuals may encash our uh, on our rich legacy and we may not able to do anything about it then what is biopiracy it is the term used to refer the use of bio resources by multinational companies and other organization without proper authorization from the country and people concerned without compensation and people concerned and without the compensatory payment so it is all about your chapter biotechnology and its applications in various fields i hope you really enjoyed this session and uh, get benefit of it and please stay tuned to get more videos like this in my next video i will discuss another important chapter of your ncert biology book so please uh, like share with other and subscribe to my channel sunanda's tutorial thank you